the No Deal prospect mm. is disastrous. Mm. It's absolutely disastrous and it should be explicitly said that that is inconceivable mm. as an outcome mm. of these talks because this is about the consequences for people be they the 14,000 that cross the border be they the 32,000 that are here or the you know, kind of 66 million that are in the UK mm. these are inconceivable it is absolutely a dereliction of the UK government's job if they find, if they put all of these people in a position where there's mm. no deal. Nothing beats coming and seeing the border for yourself. Uh, and the specific issues when it comes to frontier workers, for example, that is going to be a huge issue going forward. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the scale of this, obviously, half the resident population of Gibraltar coming in and out uh, to not only boost the Gibraltarian economy, but also, of course, the economy over in Andalusia. This is a vital cross-border issue. Uh, and it's very important and good that we've heard warm words from, from the UK government in respect of, of, uh, uh, of Gibraltar in these talks. But to be honest, I'm not seeing much practical action from the government when it comes to Gibraltar, other than, than, than the words that they are uh, saying, which are warm and nice. But actually, in terms of practicalities, the action I'm seeing from the Gibraltarian side is very clear, but from the UK government, less so. Westminster is so divided, so dysfunctional, the government can't hold together in the House of Commons. It's got the support of the DUP, who are now playing um, games around the budget. So my concern is that uh, Westminster will fail to put through a deal, even if one's available, which effectively leads us down a no-deal scenario. And of course, for Gibraltar, then, does that mean no transition period? We don't know. Gibraltar and Scotland, we voted the right way the first time. So I'm sceptical about rerunning referendums to get the right result. There needs to be a change in circumstances to that. I think also to have a sustainable solution, this needs to the People's Vote campaign needs to be rather more successful in England than it has been. Because from a Scottish perspective, what if we had another vote and the same thing happened? What if Scotland voted considerably to remain and we were still told that we were leaving? What if Gibraltar was in the same position? There's no guarantees to that. So our party's position is that if this becomes a thing in the House of Commons, we won't stop it.